Hey guys, how's it going? If you've been around the channel for a while, you probably remember this engine. I can't remember exactly what year we said this was. It's a Willesco steam traction engine. Uh, this is actually my brother's. He bought it basically new in the box. We got it running on the channel and we drove it around and used it a little bit. It needs some parts. The rear wheels are welded together, as you can see, and also something is wrong with the transmission. I fixed it once before so that it would actually drive the wheels, but I guess something back here got messed up and both wheels were glued together and now um, they... Here is fucked up. Yeah. So basically now the thing is just active all the time when the engine spins. Well, it's active and sometimes it's not. It doesn't work right, in other words. Plus we got these for it. So... I'm not sure if he's a friend of Josh's or just somebody he knows in one of the groups that he's in. This is basically the exact same engine sitting over here. It's a Walesco, same exact model and everything. He got this off of some kid online. Um, somebody at some point screwed this thing up pretty bad. We're going to, I got some pictures of inside the boiler. I'll show you guys them here in a second. Basically a parts machine. We are going to be taking some pieces off of it and putting them on this one. And then we are going to be cutting this boiler in half and we are going to be seeing exactly what happened in there. This thing's pretty rough inside. Um, it possibly could be fired up again, but we're not. There's no way. Exactly. We're not sure if we want to try. No, because no whistle. No whistle. You can't fire it even, even if you don't have one. And also, some the kid that he got it off of busted out the glass in there for the sight window, like what this one has here. So basically, it can't be fired unless you get a new glass for it, which I can no, imagine. You can't get a new glass. You'd need an entire new boiler for that thing. Exactly. I mean, I've seen engines in mid condition, my steamroller for a great example. But that engine has been taken care of. That engine over there, it's clapped out. We're not sure the full history of this thing. We just know that it's um, near the end of its life. So I'm going to set you guys up in the stand, and we're just going to go on ahead and get into this thing. So that way we still save the whole engine unit. <clears throat> now, the thing is, I would save this axle, but I can't get it off. We've already tried it. So instead, I'm just going to cut the axle in half. Yeah. And before somebody says use an angle grinder, there's not really enough room in there to get one in, and we don't want to damage the engine. The only thing that I'm really risking damaging in this situation is that front wheel, because I keep scraping up on it. Unless I cut like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing about this engine is I would have had to purchase an entire new traction engine just to get parts for this one, which the kid sold me it to his engine in pretty bad condition, but it came with all the parts I need that are necessary to replace this, including a new clutch, new spacer, or new spacers, new uh, wheel heads, and an entire new axle, which I didn't want to cut it in half, but I have to. What Are you to the point where you can break it off yet? No, I am not, actually. This thing is tough. Let me do it. Let me see it. Do you have a different... This one might actually be better. Here, I... No, here. No, 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 no. Here, let me do it. Let me do it. This one's in better, better shape. Let me get out of Not enough room. done this on the other side of the table. This one's going through. I 
think I'm getting close. That's what she said. Shut up. Would be nice. You know, it'd be nice if I had this sticking in the vise. I'm just gonna try and do this. I couldn't get it in the vise either. Mm. Now, I know I'm being a little bit rough with the engine, but these things are pretty tough. All right, let me get it. Oh, that's, that's great. What? It's, that's just great. What'd you do? Well, it's a great thing I got a parts donor. We'll set this over here, because that can still be used. But we got the entire axle off the end of it. Now I'm going to try... Now I know what you guys are thinking. Why didn't I just take the little tiny parts out, pop the wheels off, and pull them off? That's why. And it's the same on both wheels. And this clutch isn't worth saving. Because it's also in pretty bad shape. Now, let's see. Where's a pair of pliers? Johnny, I need, I need you to get me something. Hmm. I need a screwdriver. What type? Flathead. Does it need to be small? Uh, small enough to get in between the wheels. I'll let you know how this works. This one is too big. I have this over here too. This might actually be useful. Also too big. Basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get in between these hubcaps. Once we can get in between those hubcaps, we could just pop these off, pop the <coughs> wheels off, and just switch them onto the other engine. The whole axle will come off after that. Thanks, John. Now, I have done maintenance to this end, to my main engine before, so, it's, so I know how to do it. This one's also got a better part to it. Look at that. John, get over here. Whoa. Whoa. Look at all that grease and grime. Let me get a paper towel. We're going to wipe that down. I'll wipe this wheel off, too. It wouldn't look too bad. Look at that. I may, may not look bad. Look at all that crap we're getting off of it. That's from the wheel alone. This is grease. Why is there grease on the rear wheel anyway? You're not supposed to grease it. I don't yeah, know. I know. It's your drive wheel. Probably take this up from the Part of that's from the uh, heat, most likely. Where's the other, John, where's the other brass piece? Oh, sorry. I was gonna say, I only saw one. Ooh, look at that. We just, we put this on it like that, and look at all that we got off. Let's try it again right here. And we're not even trying. Yeah, the thing is, this is also why you shouldn't trust what people say on the, the internet. Mm -hmm. Some will say that it's a brand new engine. And then they send you this. Look at that. The wheels are even rusted. Isn't that what the guy he got? Yeah. Basically brand new. He basically said it had never been fired and it was a brand new engine. That's what I thought. I'm gonna wire. I'm gonna take this up to the wire wheel real quick, and I'm gonna wire wheel this. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I wonder if it's. Oh, look at that. Not even rust. It's I was just gray. Why would you wire wheel that? I'm going to take, oh. Hmm. You got something we can wash these out in? Or wash them in? I got a bucket of dish soap up front. Some of these might have to go through an ultrasonic. 
Why? Because most of the parts, see how the wheels are in between? Mm -hmm. You can't get grime out of that. You either have to spray it with a hose or run it through an ultrasonic. You done with that? Also, yeah. where's the other, where was this? I know it had two, should have two on it. Where were you dropped it? I John, no I gave it to you. You took the other wheel off. On the end of this? Oh, it's still there. Cool. I don't think it comes off. No, it comes off. Hmm. Now let's make sure I'm doing this the right way. So are you going to have, well, you're going to have to use the Look at, oh. look at, look at that firebox. Now, for those of you who want to know, I think I already said it, but we are going to be cutting that boiler in half. Here's what my firebox looks like, and it's been used. Yeah, we're going to part that entire engine first. Once we get this through here. Now, where did I put that? Okay, so what I'm seeing. Now, is that the gear from this engine over here? Mm hmm. That's the new clutch. Brand surprised you didn't use the one that I fixed, but... Yeah, no, I can't. Why is that? Oh, I see. Remember, I was fighting the thing after it got stuck? I can bend it back. That you can that. work with it if you want. I'm giving John spark certain parts of the old engine just so that he can show you guys and if anyone ever comes to the shop to buy something you can ask about it if you want and believe me as tempted as i am to fix that engine and get it going again which i did think about when he said he got it i don't know if i'd be able to or yeah I my i have that skill one of my ideas was to take the boiler completely off and replace it with a stationary boiler but that engine is, even if I did that, there's no telling just how bad the cylinders actually are in that engine. Unless I get the whole thing completely apart, which that's the idea. Before John cuts that open, my I'm going to take every single piece off the engine that I can, throw it in a box, and just use it for parts for the steamroller and for the steam traction engine. There you guys go. Exactly. That's the engine complete. Hmm? Let me see it. Does that work? If you were to reuse it? No, it's saved. Yep. Okay, actually, it's a little too big. How bad is it? Wow, what a sad, beautiful sky for that poor engine. <laughs> <laughs> Matches the engine. It's cooler out there than it is in here. Yeah, that's true. It's humid though, so I'm not surprised it's raining. Yeah, that's a problem. Either the screwdriver is... Oh, I got a bigger one. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, we'll save that for later because that's not... That's putting up a fight. Hmm? Does it just turn off there? No, the auger piece is connected to a different part. 
and it just kind of hooks onto it. I'm talking so. about that, what you're doing right now, but yeah, I see it does, because I was going to just turn it with this. Oh. Man, it's raining. Yeah, it really is. Go grab my phone. I want to check the weather. Why? Oh, shit. All the goddamn windows are open. Yeah, this is stuck. Sure. I'll be right back. I gotta go get my phone. Huh, flood warning. Okay, that's stiff. <sighs> this guy had the same idea I had. JB welded the fucker. Now, the thing is, when I got this delivered, I heard it hit the thing, and I was like, okay, did the driver throw the package, or did it just kind of hit the ground a little hard? Either way, with the condition of the engine, give or take, I'm not going to complain too much. Oh, wow, that is stiff. I don't know how well you can guys see that. You guys can see that. Now, I know there's going to be someone to say this, and no, I am not going to make a duel. I'm not giving it duels. There's this one down here that I should be grabbing. Hey, John. Just doing a bit of commentary. So how was the rain? <clears throat> you don't have to talk when you're taking stuff apart. Yeah, it's fun. Especially when parts are JB welded. So is this right here what yeah. turns? Huh. That's neat. See, if, I was, if this thing had a good boiler and we were to just pop this off right here, we would have a stationary boiler. Not ah, great. Looks like we're about to have a second. Oh, well, that's gone forever. Yeah, that's actually kind of what I was wanting. Oh, let's see. But I wasn't expecting it to fly. I've never had to fight my engine this badly to get it apart. Should I take that and clean it up? <coughs> clean up Do you want to? This thing had to have been in a smoker's house. How much crap is on it? Over it. It's in even worse condition than I thought it would be. So we're under a severe thunderstorm watch. Ah. Hmm. Fucking flies. How far down can you tear that? How far down? Yeah. You'll see. I'm going all the way. What is it with these stupid flies? Does that need to be? No, we're just going to throw everything that comes off in here. Oh, look at this. Watch hmm. this. What? 
See that little screw? Yeah. We're about to take the entire flywheel apart. <laughs> is it even going to come off? Considering how loose this is, Turn it this I way guarantee so it'll come off in a second. Turn it this way so that YouTube can see it. Okay. You guys want to see a cylinder? I can't get that off all the way, so I'm just going to take it off here. You're going to need a bigger screwdriver. You know what? Why am I overthinking this? I just wanted to show you how easy that was going to come off. Okay, now we can get the boiler out. You can? Oh. Okay, so you see how I took that off right in the front? Yeah. Watch this. Unscrew that. Slide that off. Push this a little bit. Shake it just a smidge. See these two little bolts? Yeah. Take this one. Loosen it. I don't know how well I can get to that one, actually. Loosen that right there. If you can get on this one. Loosen that. What is that top come off? Bend this down like this. Nate showed me this. You turn it just like that. We're gonna have to do this. this is what I like to bend. No, bend that tab. Yeah, we gotta bend this off. Mm. Look how much grime I'm getting on myself. Yeah, I see. I've never had this much grime, even for my engine. Now, since we've only got this connecting it, we can take this. Now, the thing is, I don't care how badly this engine gets... Whoa! Um... <laughs> wow. That's, uh, clean. Safety valve's mine. That came a, further, a lot further apart than I was expecting. That boiler is actually a lot bigger than I was expecting. Wow. Since we got that off, I'm going to go ahead and just take the rest off. I don't expect this firebox to... So now I don't know how well you can see in there. It looks like somebody ran hard water through it. You're supposed to run distilled water through these to get the minerals out. John, since I have it full of fully apart. No, it's vinegar gets them out. This distilled water keeps the boiler clean. I still don't like that idea of vinegar. I didn't ever since it was said. And that kid said that he tried running the, still, the vinegar through it? Yeah, he tried running it through it, which you're not supposed to do. I ran vin I put vinegar in my steamroller for a little bit. Holy crap, John. What? This engine itself is in bad condition. Wow. Dog hair on it. There's look at look at the cylinder. Look at the steam chest. Huh. Yeah, that thing was kind of I bet you we could get that running if we got a boiler for that. I doubt it. That engine. I don't know. Maybe. We'd have to all these poop types, all these tubes would have to be replaced. Well, maybe not then. Everything in here needs washed. Let me get this boiler set up real fast and we'll go on ahead and cut it open. You can watch in for me. Yeah, they can listen to me throw fits about just how bad condition this engine is. Surprisingly, I was able to break it off. Yeah. I never had my hands get this filthy working on the other end. All right. What? I'm going to grab all the parts to it. Drop them in here. 
And I'm gonna give this thing a bath later. All right, so now here's the moment you have all been waiting for, I'm sure. Let's go on ahead and get this boiler cut open and let's see exactly what is in here. Together. Ready? What will we find behind door number? What number door is this? What number door would this be? We're going to see exactly what it looks like in here. Oh my. Now I don't know how much of that is from the angle grinder, but look at this. You might want to film. I'm getting a picture. Look at this. Wow, that is rough. <laughs> Um, I don't know how much of that is metal shavings. Let me turn the flash on on the phone. So here's inside. Man, this is just rough. Look at that. It's even got fur inside of it. Is that fur? No, it's, that's something else. Wow, man, that's, that's in rough shape. You possibly could have cleaned that out, but I don't know how well it would have come back. Uh, that's, that's pretty well stuck in there. So there you go. So it is currently around one in the morning. Um, having trouble sleeping, I keep thinking about this. I want to take this thing apart a little bit further. I actually want to see what it looks like inside of here take this piston rod off and take this saw out of here and see, you know, maybe just kind of what it looks like in here. So I have made the executive decision. We are going to go on ahead and pull this thing apart as far as we can get it. I am guessing we should be able to get this off. I'm not sure exactly how or if this has a key i would imagine there's some kind of keyway inside of here it may even be i don't even i don't think it's soldered to the rod but or the crank but i guess you never know that flywheel's got some pretty decent weight to it with that that looks like it might unscrew and then uh probably yeah, see. Probably that right here would separate that. What do you guys see? Oh, uh, you see it. Okay, cool. So let's see. I don't know, I just kind of figured, you know, we may as well just go on ahead and take it the rest of the way apart. If I have to, I can get on this with vice grips. Because this does not want to go in there. get on that with pliers, which is not what I wanted to do, but oh well. There we go. We got it. I was kind of wondering if it was going to come off or if it was lock tied it in. There we go. 
rods pulled. So the cylinder should just come off, right? Hmm. Okay. Well, that came loose. Nice. Y'all ready to see what's behind here? I'm thinking that this probably, yep, that comes off. And then this probably, is that the piston itself? No, that's the cylinder. So we still got more to remove. How do we get in here? Can we get in here any further? Or are we to the point of we have to stop? I feel like that should come apart more. You would think that right there unscrews the valve assembly. Oh, that pulled, <laughs> pulled out. So there's your valve assembly. That don't look too bad. It's oily. Uh, it might not be oil. Can we get this apart any further, I wonder? They had to have gotten it through somehow, right? You would think. Unless they put that line on there at the factory. I bet you they did. You can't get this to come off here, can you? No, and I'm not going to force it either. So there you go. That's your crank. That turns fairly nice. There we go. That just came apart. So there you go, and I actually did see what fell and where it fell. It fell right there. See, I would pretty much, I would say, got it down to the point where we probably can't really get it apart any further unless we want to cut stuff, which I really would rather not if I can avoid it. So there we go. might just go on ahead and cut that open. I would have to wait for approval on that one before I did it. <laughs> yeah. I so badly just want to cut this open. <laughs> I really do. I was kind of hoping that taking the end off of it would make it, I mean, this thing is, why do I stop the air from going through here so I can make it have compression? What would be your way? I don't think I can. Now, if it was steamed up right now, it would have compression. Yeah, I can't get it to have compression. Not a lot of play in there, which is good. So I guess that's about as far as we are gonna get it. I was really hoping to get the piston out of here, but you know, oh well. I guess we're not gonna be able to get into it that far unless we cut the cylinder up, which I would probably, actually, no, you can't see it through there. I suppose we could cut it, 
you know. Anything else in here we could take apart? Anything? Yeah, no, everything's pretty much to the point of already being to the point as far as it'll go. Pretty much apart as far as it'll all go. That's still kind of cool though. Well, I know for a fact if it was up to me, we'd be cutting that cylinder open and finding out what's inside of it. Gives you valve assembly. That, this thing, a washer. That looks like a seal. Not this, but that right there. Yeah, that might be a seal. We got an oiler, a screw, a balancer. No, oh, that's a that's a thing for the valves, I think. We got it some of the way to. I guess. And then right there's our flywheel. That flywheel's got some pretty decent weight to it, I must add. Hmm. Definitely didn't expect it to be that heavy. Right there's your gear. The gear actually doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty good. You know what's funny? This is bigger than this. This is heavier than this. It's heavier than that too. Quite a bit heavier actually. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, it's got quite a lot of... Well, I can understand exactly why this is as heavy as it is. It's because it needs to be you know, able to help keep that engine going, just like with the tractors, you know, like what we work on usually on this channel. Hmm. Still cool. I feel like that should be able to pop out of there, but I have a feeling that this is, I have a feeling this is permanently bonded to this shaft, so. Probably no matter how hard we try getting it off there, it's not going to come out. Yeah, it's got some decent throw to it. Hmm. Cool. Well, they call it a flywheel for a reason. So, yeah, there you go. We've pretty much gotten this thing about as far as we can get it. Parting out wise, we could take it down a little more if we want to. May as well. So that way, if he needs parts, he's got them. I don't have to do it later. Did that turn or is it still? Oh, okay. Cool. So there you go. There's your piston rod. There's a screw. There's another screw. There's a small nut somewhere around here. There's the front of the boiler or the piston. I do not see that little nut anywhere around here. I 
didn't fall on the floor and it's not in here still. Right there, as you can see. Well, I gotta find a reason to cut this open. <laughs> I, I'm so tempted just to cut this open and find out what's, what's it look like inside. You know, after however many years of use this has on it. Let me confirm it with the boss real fast and I will get his answer before I cut this open. All right, guys, I wanna thank all you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If this is your first time checking out the channel, please consider going down below, hitting that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you a thing. It tells YouTube, that, tells YouTube that you guys like the videos and wanna see more. It also tells myself the same thing. I would also appreciate it if you went down and hit that like button. That helps the videos get around so more people on YouTube can watch them. This was definitely an interesting one. I know this is not what we normally show on the channel, but man, it was still cool to tear it down and look at it and see exactly what failed. I had seen the pictures that he had sent on the group that we're in, and I had said myself, that thing is fucked. So it was cool to get a hold of it and get it tore down and look at it thoroughly and see exactly what failed on it. Um, I don't know, definitely cool. Now we got some parts for this other engine and maybe parts for that one if they interchange. I don't know. Wait, All right, guys. Hang on, I got a joke. How many likes would people want? How many likes would this video have to get if people want me to buy an entire new boiler for that? Good question. All right, well, I guess this is gonna be it. We're going to do some video, actually, never mind. All right, guys, take care. Bye. That should be any imperfections out of that whistle. Just for the fucking hell of it. Thank mm -hmm. you.